in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a new type of geometry in AutoCAD called Mesh. Using Mesh, you can create certain complicated objects which cannot be created using solid or surface modeling techniques. You can access various Mesh creation and editing tools at the Mesh tab. So I'll click on the Mesh tab and here you can see primitives. Before I create these primitives, I'll switch over to Southwest Isometric View by clicking on this hotspot of the view cube. Next, I'll click on Mesh Box. I'll pick the first corner of the Mesh Box here and opposite corner somewhere over here and move the mouse in the upward direction to specify the height. Now I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Now you can see that even if this is a simple box, it is made up of a number of faces. If you click on solid tab and if you click on box to create a solid box, I'll pick the first corner here, opposite corner here and height here. You can see that there is single face on each side. Whereas over here, you can see number of faces and you can control the number of faces in the horizontal and in the vertical direction. Now we'll undo this box creation. Now let's take a close look on this mesh box. A mesh object is made up of a number of phases and each phase has got a shape of a quadrilateral. Now let's take a close look on this particular phase, for example, and this phase is made up of four edges and each edge is made with two vertices. And these objects are called the subobjects in a mesh. You can go on to the subobject levels and perform selection. Now we'll activate the mesh tab. In the selection panel, by default, no filter is selected. That means if you make a click on the mesh, the entire mesh will get selected. Now I'll press escape to deselect and I'll click on face. And if I make a click, only that particular face will get selected and make a pick here. The next adjacent face will get selected. Likewise, you can select any number of faces. I'll escape to deselect. Now I'll select edge option. I'll make a pick on this particular edge. Only that edge will get selected. Now one more pick on this edge. So you can see that that is selected. Now I'll select a vertex. And if I make a pick here, only that particular vertex will be selected. I'll make one more pick here. Even that is selected. Likewise, you can go to any subobject levels and perform selection. For example, I'll click on the face selection. Then I'll select these three phases. Then I'll activate the Y axis and I'll move these phases in the Y direction. Now you can see that only those phases will get moved and the connected phases will also move along with those phases, which will give you such a result. Now I'll click on the edge option and I'll select these two edges and I'll activate the X axis and move these edges. You can see that those edges are getting moved in the X direction and the connected faces are also getting moved. I'll pick a point here, press escape. Next, I'll click on the vertex level and I'll select these two vertices on top. Now I'll activate the Y axis and move these two vertices in the Y direction. Now you have got a shape like this. So that is the main flexibility you get when you edit a mesh object based on the subobject levels. You can also access these subobjects at the status bar. For that, you have to just click on this arrow. Here, you will get the various subobject selection options. If you don't see the selection filtering option at the status bar, just click on the customization button at the lower right corner. Then make sure that selection filtering is checked. You can smoothen a mesh object to eliminate sharp corners. For that, I'll click on smooth more option and click on this mesh object and give enter. You can see that it got smoothened and the smooth more can be applied more than once to smoothen it even further. But there is a limit beyond which you cannot smoothen it. Change the visual style to realistic. Now it's a smooth mesh. We have started with the mesh box and edited it based on subobject levels such as face, edge and vertex levels. Now when you create a mesh box, you can see that it has got fixed number of phases. 
I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. The number of face can be changed by clicking on this arrow at the lower right corner. And here you have Mesh Primitive Options dialog box. Now corresponding to box, the tessellation division parameter is set at 633. Now I'll change the value to 12, 12, 12 in all directions. And if I create a mesh box, you can see that it has got more number of faces in all directions. So this will give you better precision when you edit this mesh object based on sub-object levels. Similarly, you can try out rest of the mesh objects such as mesh corn, mesh cylinder, etc. I'll click on mesh cylinder. Now I'm asked to specify the center point and I'll drag to specify the radius as well as the height. Here also you can see the number of faces which is already set at the mesh primitive options dialog box. A mesh model can be converted to a solid model or to a surface model using the convert to solid and convert to surface option available in the convert mesh panel. So I'll just click on convert to solid option and select this mesh and give enter. Now when you hover the mouse, you can see that it's a 3D solid. And all the solid modeling commands are applicable to this model. In the next tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create mesh surfaces.